Iceland Health Appetite Control Formula. The safe, natural way to help control your appetite instead of having it control you. Welcome to Diet.com video, I'm Sarah Dusso. The number one weight loss secret is writing down everything that you eat. However, many times when you're writing it down, you might not be getting the amount that you're eating accurate. So, we are gonna go over the top five foods that you tend to overeat. Now, not on purpose, of course, it's just that it's really hard to see how much you're actually eating of it. So, today we're gonna be talking about peanut butter. Now, peanut butter has about 210 calories per two tablespoons. So, some tricks to measuring peanut butter are. So, we have a scale here. Now, if you have one, great. If you don't, we'll show you some other options. Now, if you're gonna be bringing the peanut butter to work as a snack with say some celery, or if you're gonna be putting it on a slice of toast, you can put the toast on here. I'm gonna put my Tupperware, and I'm gonna hit the word tear. So now, my uh, scale thinks that this is zero. Now basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add peanut butter to our Tupperware until it reads about 22 to 33, did I say 22? I meant 32 to 33 grams. Oh, that's 36, it's too much. Obviously I'm not gonna be that picky. There we go, 32, perfect. However, since it is so calorie dense, you do wanna be sure to only have one serving and if you're gonna be having more, make sure that you write that down into your calorie journal. So right there, you can get a close up, that is what a serving looks like. That's about the size of a ping pong ball. So if you don't have a scale and you don't have one of the uh, measure all devices, there is one other non-messy technique. Of course, you can always just measure the teaspoon or the tablespoon. Um, one trick is to fill up a cup of water. Now, I'm just gonna use a half cup because it's more realistic with just a few tablespoons of peanut butter. If you're gonna use more, use a bigger one. So you're gonna fill it about three quarters of the way full. If you have tablespoons, add three tablespoons into the water. Oops, that's a little bit much. All right, and so this is three quarters of the way full. Now we're gonna add peanut butter to it until the water reaches the brim. Then once you have the peanut butter, you dip out the water, dump out the water rather. And there you go, you have your two tablespoons ready to go. And as always, you can use just a regular measuring spoon. So this is one tablespoon for a serving, you'd obviously want to do two, but I provided the alternate options for you because after you fill this with peanut butter, you've got to scoop it out and then you dirty an extra spoon and who wants to clean up an extra mess? So this is obviously a safe option. Uh, make sure that it's not a rounded tablespoon. You should uh, you know, swipe off the top so that it's flat. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and now you know that you should be measuring how much peanut butter you're using because you never know, you actually could very well easily be eating double the amount of the recommended serving. Check back later for more food finds that we think that you guys should be measuring. We'll see you next time.